There you go. The dead rise from the graves on a full moon. And uh, there's one more reason not to build your uh, base in a graveyard. Oh, that's too cool. What? Howdy, hi everybody, and uh, Meraba. Oops, don't want to play. I still haven't uh, put Woofie's save back in. What I want to do is I want to use cheats to look at all the items that I can uh, find on cheats. So, N Tools by uh, Nicidian. Too many items by uh, CJB. Uh, thinking about using somebody besides Wolfgang, just to avoid the confusion. Willow's got sanity issues anyway. Let's use Waker Bottom, it would be easiest. No, <coughs> oh, excuse me there. Okay, uh, really, we could just put in the game whatever we want to do, so. Oops, too many. Oh well. Alright, I'm gonna have to use Lure Code for some of this stuff. <coughs> Now, the first uh, episode of Reign of the Giants DLC was uh, basics, and I just meant basics about building a camp. So I'm going to go back and change that, because this is more like the basics I was thinking of. I'd love to know what season we're in. Um, so anyway, a little code. Gosh, it's been so long since I did some of this. And it's case sensitive. And there are ways to do numbers, but... Uh, I have do I absolutely don't remember them. If you hit the uh, tilde key, it's the wavy line key, and then do up arrow, it uh, reprints what you were on. Uh, Lord Ugg, uh, Crazy Paper Mask Dude, and uh, Pure Evil Zeppos all have tutorials on how to uh, enable Lua Code. Uh, the Lua console, you have to enable the console. <coughs> in order to do this, and this is available through the wavy line key between uh, tab and escape. Well, you know, let's see what we can make here. Alright, uh, dress. Alright, there's the rain hat. It takes a straw hat. Oh, take off your straw hat, love. Uh, garland it was already in the game. Uh, rain hat. One tentacle spot that comes from tentacles. Uh, and one bone shard. That comes from taking a hammer to bones like you find on the ground. So there's the rain hat. Now I don't know if the coat's in here or not. Alright, there's the ice cube. We need... Howdy, hi everybody. Uh, what I do in this video is I show all the items that you can make in the science machine. Now early on it did not even occur to me with the... Uh, whatever that cheat is that I was using, that mod. Uh, you could just go to the science machine and make them. So I actually rounded up some of the ingredients. But I think in a way that works too because it's hard to, when you're just flashing through and here's a doodad and you click a button and there's a doodad and you've got to kind of plan some of the steps of this. It's, uh, I can't think of the name, uh, the, the mod of the guy I did with the gun. But, uh, so anyway, it's the items and... I was kind of trying to show like the raincoat as opposed to wet and what to do in winter with uh, a beefalo hat and a raincoat. And really you need to go through the whole day and the night and another day and another night. And it is not within the scope of a single video. And uh, Wolfgang will be doing all that stuff or I'll be doing it with some character. Uh, there's a point where all the items are done. And there's a few interesting things that turned up, like do all the ghosts rise from the graves on a full moon. Uh, I haven't shown moles in any of Wolfgang's stuff because I'm pretty focused. or <laughs> Confused, but focused. And so there's uh, highlight clips. I spent a couple hours on this, but like I said, the here's me running around in the rain and you can watch the gauge you can know that i have this on now this is wet now this isn't wet it's like eh. i i think that's the scope of a lot of testing and somebody putting the uh the numbers in wiki and that's not what i do i'm not nearly organized for that so anyway let me get out of this uh there are one two three four at least four new hats 
And this is the second St. Patrick's Day hat because I thought the first one looked like dung. And evidently I'm a hillbilly. Evidently the, the best dressed leprechauns, this is actually plush, it's not felt. But evidently the best dressed leprechauns are hillbilly leprechauns. So, But it is what it is. And we'll, I don't know what I'll do for St. Patrick's Day, but I'll figure something out. Uh, we'll uh, cook uh, Chester with some nice uh, cabbage and little round potatoes. Well, let's go ahead and do everything in the order it turns up in here. So we need doodads. Electrical doodad, and I didn't do stone, naturally. So back to T for any tools. I don't think cut stone is in here, but I'm sure stone is. Not cut stones in here. Golly, just bless you and keep you. Okay. Now, this might have been what I should have done first. I don't know. It's kind of a... Um, so what did we... Oh, we wanted to do dad first. <laughs> and we need several of those. So it's uh, three gold and one cut stone. And it's basically... I don't know. It's like a diode or a transistor or something like that. Depending on how old you... <laughs> how, how old you were... Well, no. How long ago you learned electronics. And they don't... Oh, they do stack. I don't know why I was thinking those in stack unless it was... If Chester's full, he won't accept stuff in stacks, evidently, so. Okay, back to the ice cube. We need ice. Now, I might have to look that up. Uh, I was thinking about trying a mini glacier, but I do not see a code for it. All right, up arrow, backspace. Okay, let's just do ice. I don't want to spend forever doing this. Oh, I was... I should have been... Well, you know what? Let's not worry about which machine does it. It's going to be in uh, what you call it eventually anyway. So I need four rope. Oops. You can tell I, uh, I'm still playing with not being well and... Uh, I wasn't going to do this, but I'd really like to get it done. I, I am very much more a fan of playing the game. So, all right, the ice cube. Now, what I keep forgetting to do is look at all this stuff. Stay cool, boy. What else has she got that matters? Oh, the hat. Well, damn it. I mess up my hair, but I'll stay nice and dry. All right, now, what's next on our list? Yeah, it'd be easier just to go through everything this way. Okay, there's the raincoat. Let's see, time jump. Uh, I needed two rope, didn't I? Usually I get uh, rid of the backpack by putting armor on if I want to do it in the same way. All right, back to this. Raincoat, two tentacle spots. Again, you get them from killing tentacles. Two bone shards, uh, two rope. Alt left click lets you examine. Or usually left click. Keeps the rain where it ought to be, outside my body. And there's Wicker in her raincoat. Now what? And that appears to be that for that. As far as I know, they didn't add any magic items. I was going to show you the, uh, oops, <laughs> the chilled amulet. And I doubt what she says about it has changed. Now, it will help keep you cool. Let's see. Okay, refining, I think, the doodad. Constructs. Oh, I was thinking that ice flinger thing was in there. All right, fighting. Science. Thermal measure. Two boards, two gold. Now let's put it close by. Measure before you act. So it's very warm right now. Uh, this looks like, uh, this might be autumn because it looks like uh, old summer. Rainometer has always been around. Although I'm kind of curious. Now, what happens to it in the spring? And, okay, the ice fling -omatic. Two gears, uh, 15 ice and two doodads. And, naturally, I forgot gears. It's just I, I never use any of this stuff, so. And I kind of like it that way. You, there's kind of a slippery slope there where you get the game too easy and it becomes really boring. 
Okay, Ice fling matic protects plants and puts out fires. Now well, let's put it anywhere. Now it should have a durability on it. The flingy bits are on the inside. There you go. Can we make a campfire? And I'll get to the rest of this, trust me. Alright, how do we turn you on? Right click. Now it should go after the campfire. There you go. Now I think you have to turn it off. There you go. Because it has durability. And I didn't see the durability, but it did say it had it. So let's assume it does. Alright, what are we up to next? We were in science, right? And that was the last item. Alright. Food. Okay, the bucket of poop. Uh, less poop on hands, more poop on plants. And it was two bone shards, like in bone meal, three poop, and four logs. And what it amounts to, is, my understanding, is each time you fertilize something, you use up 10% of it. So it's, uh, it's the, uh, I don't know what you would say, it's, uh, basically it's more poop for less cost. Oh hell, I didn't need to do that. I'm not used to all this stuff. Okay, what I was going to do was, where's my shovel? How many times have we heard that? Yeah, we're in autumn, I think, because that's what the trees are telling me, and gosh knows, trees never lie. Now where's uh and the bucket of poop, do we equip it? <laughs> this is definitely a bucket full of poop. Well there you go. No, nope, we hold it. Just like holding a turd. There you go. Ten percent per. Alright, where were we? Alright, so we did bucket of poo. Uh the change on the crop pot, my understanding is when it rains your food will spoil. So let's put that by the rainy thing. Let's make the time go forward. Now where are we? Okay, pretty parasol, four sticks, uh, three grass, and six flowers, and it helps with heat or rain. My umbrella is showing durability, and I haven't been whacking stuff with it in the regular game that Wolfie's playing. Uh, darn it, what's his name? Uh... Sarah, 1981, survived a winter. He didn't have anything to get around with. So he survived a winter by when he needed to step away from his, I guess he might have had the endothermic thing. But anyway, he survived by just keeping having an ice box and keeping a stone in it. And the uh, frozen part of the stone doesn't last any time at all in summer but it lasts long enough for you could dash from your camp and back in so okay the siesta lean to two spider silk and I constantly call that spider web four boards and uh, three uh, rope the uh, problem with it is it takes food like uh, what you call it does and what is what you call it like uh, the tent does. Now, I haven't done the regular endothermic fire, and that had a piece of gold in it. So let's see what happens when it burns out. And uh, Wolfgang does have the, all right, there's that that has gold in it. It's basically a campfire with a, less logs and, uh, well, what us see. Three grass, so one less grass, one less log, and one gold. And what it throws off is cold. It's the opposite. Uh, now, this one works like a fire pit. All you have to do is chunk flammable. I assume any flammable, but I don't know. I've only put logs in uh, Wolfgang's. And uh, you, uh, there is gold in the doodad. A lot of gold. But you don't use it up. It's kind of a forever thing, so... I don't know. I kind of recommend wherever you're going to be in the summertime, you it might be worthwhile to have one of those around. All right. So what did we do? We did. Is that all? 
Let's make one of those just for the hell of it. I never make those because they uh, turn into poo and they're wasted when they're gone. It's like, what? You got to at least get the firefly back or something. And I think that's it, except we need to go through the seasons here. I was curious what happens to a chest when it burns up. What happens to the stuff in it? Let's get her some food. Uh, Somebody sent a comment, this game makes them hungry. It doesn't make me hungry, but... Oops. Way too many of those. <laughs> no, I guess I got one on each one. I don't know what the hell I did there. Deadly feast? What the hell is a deadly feast? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, that didn't work out at all. I'll get back to you as soon as I uh, fix this stuff. Okay, wintery time. Somewhere there ought to be... I think we've confused our trees, but that's definitely a snowbird, so... Now, I don't think it's rained long enough for any of the food to be affected. Now, the problem people were having was, uh, oh, we don't want an endothermic fire. The problem people were having was, uh, well, actually, uh, Wolfgang will be reaching this part of the game, so that's no real problem. But they were getting rain. Or the snow was uh, turning up as a wet item. So they were getting wet and cold at the same time. You can see how the water, the whatever the wet is going up. And it's dry. Well, being in the dark isn't helping her sanity either. Now she's drying out by the fire. All right, now I guess it was, hell, I don't know. I guess up arrow there is bad. She's supposed to dry out by the fire. That doesn't look like she's drying out. I was waiting to see if her gear got wet. And it's still precipitating. Although I think it probably has to go through real time to affect the stuff in the crock pots. Poor mole. Seems so mean. Where are you, Mole? Ah, there you go. Loot. Loot from the Mole. We're almost there. So are the dead out of their graves or not? Ah, they are! There you go. The dead rise from the graves on a full moon. Uh, there's one more reason not to build your uh, base in a graveyard. Oh, that's too cool. Hold on a second. I think I've got sound down still. <laughs> too cool, Wicker Bottom. Yes, indeed. I'm just a ghost herder. Seems like if you had them all together, you needed to attack somebody, you could. I don't know if they'll get the cardinal or not. Nope. I see no enemies over here. Well, ooh. I gotta listen to loud ass music. Come on, ghosts. We're gonna go see tall birds.
the Abigail Brigade. <laughs> Just good times. I don't think there were any guardians over here. Oh. I'm gonna go kill butterflies. Come over here and kill these butterflies. I'm in a rambunctious and rowdy mood. I would say they kill butterflies. Yep. Come, kill more butterflies for me. Those aren't evil flowers. Oh, there you go. If you're next to the graveyard, <laughs> and you have a Maxwell set piece, I always call them biome because I... Uh, it's just because I'm old. Been in the game too long. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Make a vacuum cleaner noise. Of course, they're kicking the crud out of my sanity. 127. 135. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I don't think I have anything else for him to do. Ha <laughs> Get pig. Pig needs a friend. I don't think the bunnies are... Well, no, it's dusk. Am I carrying meat? Of course I am. Not making that damn mistake. So bad, guys. Bunnies ought to put faith in them. Yep, that's it. <laughs> okay, that's your free cartoon. I'd like this crap to burn. I guess you could just set fire to it. I don't know if that gives the same effect or not. Ah, the stuff flips out of it. Okay, now supposedly I can find my hammer. Supposedly you get half your ingredients back if you use a hammer. Oh crap. There goes my science machine. Where's my flinger dinger? Oh no, too late, flinger dinger. Save the science machine. <laughs> You stupid thing. Oh, where's my hammer? There you go. Half the stuff. I assume there's three gold there. Or perhaps there are three gold there. Kind of a light half. Okay, we've seen some of the flinger dinger. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Well, I can't think of anything else we have to do except to stand here and wait for crap to burn. I will be plugging Woofy's save back in. I just wanted to go through everything in as short a period as possible and show it to you, which, uh, since you know me, doesn't usually work out very well. My shortest period possible, so. Anyway, y'all, take care of yourselves. I will see you around. As far as I know, the mole is the only thing that isn't in my... Uh, other in the rest of the series, as far as the animal. There you go, there's a mole.
Made a bunch of moles. Moling out, moling down, moling around. I don't know if buzzard is buzzard. Ah, well. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Anyway, as I've said, uh, I think we're about done, but let me check. Okay, that's going to do it for Wicker Bottom and I. And uh, hopefully I won't have to do any more of this. Uh, keep in mind, this is beta. Everything's subject to change. There was something else I wanted to do. That might be a way to keep some of your ice. I guess you could build extra machines. That's eight. All right, and she should be able to eat that to uh, lower her heat. I was waiting for the heat to eat some ice. Oh, I can't advance time. There we go. There you go. Well, that didn't work very long. I would have been kind of disappointed. Whoa! Kind of getting her ass kicked when they eat nice thing. Wow. Um, that's got a lot to not recommend it, doesn't it? Son of a beast. Oh, wrong one. There we go. 